as many android 13 based custom homes are coming right now project elixir is one of them project elixir version 3.0 based on android 13 is here and we have the first look available i tried it on redmi note 10 pro it will be available for your device also very soon and if it is not available for other devices yet it will be there as i just mentioned so don't worry let's just take a quick look at the things which are included in this version for example yes it's based on android 13 so yes android 13 is there i guess as, as expected and my personal opinion i don't like android 13 easter egg at all but yes if you like this thing you can see also the about phone ui etc is also changed a bit and maybe it was present in the last android 12 l update also but in android 13 this room only has only this room has some few of the new things which were not available in evolution x os or which were not available in arrow os maybe i made a video on those skills rooms too you can go and check it out Pixel Launcher is pre-installed in this project Elixir version as expectedly. So if you are a Pixel lover or if you are a lover of Pixel Launcher, it's already included for you. One more thing which I found in project Elixir is the quick settings panel light background. And many custom homes based on Android 13 so far, maybe two or three are so far only available. Evolution X, Arrow OS or default Pixel 1 as expectedly has the dark quick settings panel background. But in this version, we have the light quick settings background with the separate mobile data and Wi-Fi tiles available for you. Other custom tiles are also available if you want to explore, you can. And the light quick settings panel is actually I like a lot. So if you are also one of the users who love to use light quick settings background, always then is it, this is here finally also the quick settings panel has android 13 ui so you can see the power menu and settings icons at just bottom the quick settings panel also has this new media player ui so if you are a music lover and android 13 google introduced this kind of ui if you take a look at the progress bar in this media the the song which is playing here this is the progress bar which is showing like this and yes it was introduced in android 13 beta updates i made a video on all of those updates you can go and check out in-depth videos about android 13 which are the new changes which we found in android 13 it will show you the app is active which are the apps which are active and also i don't think so it is of much use so yes it's up to you user's opinion if i move on to the settings app you can see the ui is customized the ui is changed it was available in the previous updates of android 12 l2 but we're not going to talk about that because this is android 13 so we'll talk about android 13 yes android 13 finally has this kind of ui and this was actually initial build based on android 13 so in the terms of initial build i think so this is a very good deal if you move on to the security section you don't have the face unlock available but that's okay i don't use it at all if you are also if you also want the users who don't use face lock on their devices or even app lock then it's okay for you or i also as I, as i just mentioned it's just initial build so don't worry about that gestures also include swipe to screenshot we also have as expectedly other options uh, other kind of gestures which were expected like quickly open camera system navigation and one thing if you are able to notice is the gestures full screen gestures if you are a user who don't want to use pill you can simply hide that and hide the keyboard space without need any kind of module or without rooting your device so this is actually quite useful as i just mentioned it's all about user's preference if you want to use a navigation bar pill but only hide the space for that you need a module for that you need to root your device and else you already know you can even customize the pill length if you want to but in my personal opinion it is not uh, good to customize because you already have very good kind of pill style in android 13 google introduced a very good style of pill which kind we look like maybe ios style so yes you don't need to change it at all we have these customizations these features available which is welcome to essence where we have all these customizations some basic customizations are included to be honest not major ones but some basic ones like lock screen has the media cover art where you can adjust the blur amount also you can hide the status bar for the toggle things it's up to you if you want to use it status bar only has a double tap to sleep so no major customizations quick settings has some basic customizations included for example if you take a look at the quick setting tile style you can use the rectangular style if you want to use it you can if you want to use the out 
outline style you can use this this is the ui which is available in corvus OS also in classic style we have this which will not give you any labels so if you want to use that you can or else default is already available for you so yes this is also one of the good things which are available but other than else gestures will give you the same menu miscellaneous have only the option for advanced restart and hide icons of essence no gaming mode unfortunately but yes we'll see in the next update these were things i just want to let you know i hope you like this thing thanks for watching and yes i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye